has fought a, a really talented group of guys in his last couple of fights, and, and he's you know he's dropped a couple of them, um, but he's still a former champion. You know, he's still a very dynamic, very dangerous fighter. I have a lot of respect for him. I know what he's capable of. So for me, it's a fun fight. I, I enjoy these kind of fights because they bring out the best in me. And, and uh, you know, I'm looking to go in there and fight my fight and make it dirty and painful and bloody. And, and uh, he's trying to kick me in the neck. You had a three-fight win streak going before so taking that setback in your last one. So when that happens, I mean, you're a veteran of the game, but is it at all give you an extra kind of push going into a fight against somebody like Pettis or just any fight after having a setback? Um, you know, I mean, it's definitely, it eats me a little bit. It's like, oh, man, if, I, if I'd done this a little bit different, if I'd thrown three more leg kicks, he probably wouldn't have been able to stand up. If I, you know, uh, just done something differently, but... I've, I've been at this for a while, you know, this will be 27 in the octagon for me. So it, it's it's just the ups and downs, you know, and, and uh, I'd, I'd love to say that the only thing, you know, that was going on in my life before the Poirier fight was training for Dustin Poirier, but that's not the case, you know, and it's probably not the case for him. And it's probably not the case for Anthony for me, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that you, you kind of have to. You have to ride the tide a little bit and and uh, and deal with the ups and downs and just do everything you can do to be your best, you know, on fight night. And it's uh, what we do is it's unforgiving and you know sometimes it sucks because of that. Sometimes it's like you know you you have to deal with crap that you don't want to have to deal with, and other times it's it's you know easy and fun and and you enjoy it. So I'm just trying to do what I can do and, and go out there and fight. I already have a legacy in the sport, you know, um, just to go out and fight, uh, you know, like, I, and, and to do it and to, 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 to kind of give my all, you know, it's, uh, it's one of the, means the most to me when I have other, other fighters come up to me and say they're a fan of me. Um, you know, it, uh, I've had, I've had heavyweights, I've had heavyweight contenders come up to me and say, oh, I'm, I'm the biggest Jim Miller fan. It's like, for a heavyweight, the, the knockout divisions, for somebody, you know, that fights in that weight class to come up and say that they're my biggest fan, um, it, it means a lot. So uh, I, I definitely think I've got a legacy going, and, and um, you know, it's not the flashiest, it's not the, it, it definitely doesn't get pushed as much as some of the other guys, but uh, I, I'm doing my thing, and uh, that's all I can do.